OnePlus have just announced a couple of new phones on stage in a bit of a weird presentation, but um, I'll let you know all the specs in a second. OnePlus have just released those couple of new phones, so the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro. And here are some of the specs for those phones. So first of all, the OnePlus 8 comes in two different versions. So one with eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage, and then a 12 gigabytes of RAM and 250 gigs of storage phone. And then you have that with the same with the OnePlus 8 Pro. Let's first of all look at the price. And this is the first time that OnePlus are hitting almost that 1,000 pound price point. So the OnePlus 8, first of all, all, with the 128 gigabytes of storage comes in at 699. You then add 100 pounds for the 250 gigs of storage on that phone. And then once you get to that OnePlus 8 Pro, the prices then start to climb. So it's 899 for 128 gigabytes of storage. And then you're looking at 999 for 250 gigs of storage. And these are the most expensive OnePlus phones that they've ever released. There was a couple of rumors that OnePlus would hit that 1000 pound price mark and it's new for them and it's new for us. So let's have a look at some of the specs and see whether it actually warrants that 1000 pound price point or not. We'll have a look first of all at some of the colors that these phones come in. So all the OnePlus phones come in, first of all, that new glacial green, which by the way, looks amazing. And I'm wearing this in homage to it. It then comes in onyx black. Then these two phones get a couple of different colors. So the 8 Pro gets that ultramarine blue, which looks okay. Then the standard 8 Plus gets that interstellar glow, which I think personally looks horrible. And here's something not to gloss over as well. For the first time on a OnePlus phone, they are finally IP rated. So these new phones are IP68 water and dust resistant, which means that for about 30 minutes, they can cope at 1.5 meters of water. And that was glossed over a little bit on stage, but this is a big move for OnePlus. And then we're talking about the screen. So on the OnePlus 8 Pro, the screen is a 6.7 inch fluid AMOLED display. And the screen to body ratio on this one is 91.8%, which sounds quite nice in numbers. And then the OnePlus 8 Pro comes with that 120 hertz refresh rate screen, which is gonna be amazing. If you've never used a 120 hertz display before, then wait till you get your hands on it because once you've used it, there ain't no going back. OnePlus also said on stage that this was the best screen on a phone in the universe. So we'll have to see what that actually looks like when we get it out of the box. But it has a peak brightness of 1,300 nits, which is pretty bright. And it's showing us that OnePlus can now compete at the top range of phones. OnePlus also gave the 8 Pro to DisplayMate who rates screens and they gave it their first ever A Plus having broken 13 records. So OnePlus are really building up this screen. Each of these phones that are coming out in a couple of weeks are all 5G enabled as well. And OnePlus made quite a big deal of this on stage. All versions of these phones will be running that Snapdragon 865 as well, so expect them to be quick. Let's talk quickly about the specs of the cameras on the OnePlus 8 Pro, and it has a 48 megapixel main sensor, and then it has the three times telephoto lens, and then when you get to that ultra wide, they've also given it a 48 megapixel sensor, which is the biggest sensor on any ultra wide camera in the world at the moment. Having 48 megapixels on an ultra wide is insane. So the photos that you take with that ultra wide will look as crisp and as good as they do with that main camera. There's also a color filter camera lens that's on this phone and OnePlus didn't say too much about that on stage. And from what they did show, it just looked a little bit gimmicky. If you then concentrate on the front facing camera, they've gone with that hole punch display, which I think is the best way to do it at the moment. And that hole punch display is only 3.8 millimeters. So it's as small as they could possibly actually get it. The batteries have got bigger as well on the phone so that means that the 8 Pro gets a 4,510 milliamp hour battery, while the regular 8 gets a 4,300 milliamp hour battery. But both these phones have that fast warp charging at 30 watts, and OnePlus is saying that you can charge in 30 minutes up to 60% on these phones, which is just fantastic news. But then also, really excitingly, if you're gonna be getting that 8 Pro phone, it comes with 30 watts warped wireless charging, which is ridiculously quick. OnePlus was showing this on stage Stage, and within 30 minutes, they were able to charge from 0% up to 50% while comparing it to the Galaxy S20 Ultra and the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which just didn't get anywhere close. Something else which I picked up on stage, and I might be wrong, but you can have Alexa as the voice assistant on your phone. And I'm not sure that this has been done anywhere else before. It might have been, but it's something that I can't quite remember. These phones are all available to pre-order on April 29th. And no, I haven't been sent anything by OnePlus and they're not sponsoring this video. If you wanna buy it and you think that these phones are finally gonna drag you away from either a Samsung or an iPhone, let me know in the comments below. And if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, 
And until next time, see you later.